Hi, it's Linda here, and I wanted to talk to you about cello maintenance. When we have our cellos in our house, our house is heated, it's cold, the air gets really dry, and a common problem that we have is seams opening. The seams between the top and the back and the ribs, which is the side here, often become unglued, and that's not a big deal. It's actually quite normal, and it's supposed to happen. Uh, we use a hide glue that is not super strong, and that's intentional. You don't want them glued together too aggressively, because if it is, and the wood shrinks, cracks can occur on the top. So this cello was brought in by a customer, and the customer brought in for tune-up, and I did the usual checkout, and I found that there was some openings in the seams, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to find these seam openings yourself because you would need to get them taken care of right away if you did. So what I do is I tap on the cello, and you should hear a real solid sound. But as you work your way around the edges, there's a sound, very typical of a seam opening. This also has the same problem on the back. Right through here, it's also open. When that happens, uh, the ribs can move, and if the ribs pull out, splay out, or pull in, uh, this could cause a problem when we're trying to repair it. It's more extensive repair. So as soon as you find there is a problem, this type of opening can cause the cello to not sound as resonant, sound a little dead. So it will also improve your sound if you take it in and get it re-glued. It also protects the cello from further damage if you leave them open a long time. The ribs can move and create a more extensive uh, repair problem. So I just wanted to let you know, this is something you should check for. And when it is opened up, you can see the back in this case is actually open maybe five inches. And you can actually pull the back away from the rib. So I'm going to try to glue this up in my uh, next take. Uh, we will be explaining if you live somewhere rural, you don't have a luthier you can run to. It's not a super difficult to repair. If you're, if you're somewhat handy, you can mix up the high glue yourself and um, clamp it up and do a quick fix. Thank you.